guys, my name is Jen and today I'm doing a first impressions on the Revlon What's its name? Uh, Max, no, One Step, what? Oh, here, Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer It was very popular, I know I'm super late, but I just colored my hair back to a light blonde And if you know anything about going super dark to super light, your hair takes forever to dry so I figured I should give this a shot since it I know it's super popular people like it because it turns their curly hair super straight while they're drying it there's an ambulance okay as you can see I have not opened it here we go there she is. I got mine from Target. It was $53, so somewhere around there. And I know that you can get this also from Ulta. Okay. I'm having a difficult time. Okay. So here she is. Uh, she's very thick um, the settings are right here it's cool off low and high and yeah she looks sturdy I'm gonna start off with this Amica supernova blonde violet moisture and shine cream I got this part of like um, the purple hair care sample set at Sephora this smells super good by the way and in case you're wondering how I got my hair this color or kind of how I got it this color I just did a video on these overtone products I will link it somewhere here but I'm going to now plug in the hair dryer and see how it goes uh, like I said I don't know how to blow dry hair so I'm gonna wing it I'm just gonna separate it kind of maybe a little more and tie it up or clip it up <laughs> and I'm gonna turn it on it might be super loud so how do I do it? so you spin the bottom I'll keep it on low Hi guys, this is now a voiceover. Rather than you hearing the blow dryer hum for a good, I don't know, three minutes, I figured I'd just come and talk about what I'm doing, I guess. As you can see by the confusion on my face, I'm still trying to figure out how to maneuver the blow dryer in the most effective way possible. Oh, and that was me seeing myself on the monitor, seeing how confused I look. Honestly, you would think it's like a organic movement, but I don't know, I just, it was difficult for me. Um, but yeah, I'm just working with one side of my hair and running it through. I've been using it for a while now and I figured that the best technique is actually to work in like medium sized sections and then go kind of slow especially when your hair is sopping wet like mine usually is because I like to blow dry right out of the shower so yeah I'm gonna fast forward a little bit and let's see what I have to say I think it's still a little damp I'm gonna give it a try I'm gonna turn on the fan and here I've just put all my hair down and I'm going to begin working in those medium sized chunks that I mentioned earlier. And I figured out there's basically only two movements you could do with this. It is number one, as you see here, the curl away technique as you would with a curler, curler, curling iron or a flat iron. You're just pulling your hair away from your face. There's a lot of this movement going on. And then movement number two, the curl towards your face. As you would again with a flat iron or a curling iron, you're pulling your hair towards your face. And with both movements, the more you kind of curl your hair inward or outward, 
and the slower you move the more curly your hair will get I was just trying to get it straight so I'm not curving it in that much but if you want really bouncy curls you can achieve that look that way and here I'm trying to tackle my bangs I tried to get curtain bangs but I haven't figured out how to style it yet until this moment right here wait for it wow she's so good <laughs> honestly that made me so happy I noticed my hair was looking a little too straight for my liking so I wanted to kind of curve the ends more inward and frame my face so that's what I'm doing here by taking the brush and rolling the hair towards my face and here I'm rolling 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 that's what I'm doing and just keep repeating that the higher you go the more curvy it will get obviously if you do this with a flat iron you're gonna get a more defined curl here you'll see a comparison between my sopping wet hair and the freshly blow-dried hair as you can see it's super soft looking super light super shiny and now I'm just working on the other side again similar movements also just look at how softly it's going through that's thanks to the overtone products that I was using and the shine cream look it just slides like butter beautiful great amazing fantastic now it's time to get working on those bangs honestly I wanted to get this just so I could learn how to style my bangs and this did not disappoint so what I did is I pulled all my bangs to the top of my head and I started curling them back towards my head and just look at that C curve it was amazing unfortunately on one I don't know what the word is um, not obsessive what is it? impulsive one impulsive night I decided to cut my bangs super short and you know as I'm looking at this clip I very much regret because look at how nice this was if you have curtain bangs and you're trying to figure out how to style it this is what you need girl this is what you need <laughs> I like my bangs and here I'm just kind of playing with the part of my hair hair part oh gosh it's almost 12 I'm so sorry <laughs> it's hot ow um, don't touch the barrel it gets very hot <laughs> yeah she right it's very hot don't do that and that's it for my voiceover I hope you enjoyed I hope you found my voice kind of soothing uh, this is me pulling the hair out of the brush <laughs> okay back to the video and that's my hair dry as you can see from my surprised faces the barrel does get super hot so where it's like shiny and black avoid touching that especially when you're trying to like maneuver your hair like this try your best not to touch it it gets pretty hot and I was using it on low uh, if you want to do hold on to the bottom this is very convenient this little nub right here and overall I think it's super good it is a little heavy but that's just because I'm super weak as you can tell but I like it it's super easy to use and I like it most for doing like these bangs I just got these I've never had like curtain bangs before so I'm still trying to figure out how to like properly style it to where it's like like this but let's be honest if you're already decent with a blow dryer and hairbrush I don't think that this is something necessary you should get but if you're terrible at it and you need a new blow dryer this is something you should consider it's I like it it's super nice um, I think it's very handy for traveling as well just because it can dry and straighten your hair especially if you have curly hair I think this would be a huge help kinky hair I don't know how well it would do or like African hair I don't know how well it would do so keep that in mind again this was $53 53 56 I don't remember the exact price I got this at Target you can find it at Ulta it comes in two different colors this pink one and the teal one I wanted the teal one but Target did not have it and yeah I hope you like this video I'll see you in my next one
I'm on a trip, and you're my one-way ticket. <laughs>